So I thought I would do my story time vlog without any mukbang before I go to this post office. Okay, so what happened yesterday was I was shooting a video on my front porch and I seen a guy staring at me. He was walking and he was like looking at me and then he went and he sat on the corner and I was in the middle of shooting a video. I don't know if you saw it, but I was looking at him and then I finally cut the video and said, you know, I'll get back with you, you know, finish this another time. And, um, you never know what people are up to, stuff like that. So he was looking at me and sometimes these people are very presumptuous. They see you looking at them and they'll keep staring you down. And I don't know what their problem is. And they're street people. So, some strange guy was watching me while I'm on my front porch. And he goes and he sits on the curb. And then, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes passed or something like that. And then, he was like really suspicious and... Then he left, but he was like pretending to talk on his phone, and I think he knew I was looking at him, and I knew that he wasn't talking to nobody, he was just pretending like he's on his phone as he was walking away. So then, I went out, and I had to go to the store after that, sometime after that, later on that afternoon. And I was walking under this overpass, the 275, and I look up in the corner, like, you know, it has like a slant, and then like a little space at the top, and then the highway is above it. And I saw him up there, and he was laying up there. And I was like looking at him, and I was thinking, you know what? He's probably thinking he's gonna rest, and he's gonna come back later. So then I had saw him under the overpass, like sleeping or resting, some street person. So then that was like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Then I came home and I had my chicken and all that and I was cooking, I was watching TV, you know, watching the, re-watching the Alien movie that I had started the other night. And, um... Maybe about 10 o'clock, I came outside to let the dogs out and then um, happened to look over and I, I saw him again and he came back. Now, he was watching me earlier and I knew that this guy had came back like he was going to come and get me or whatever. Thought he was. So, it was like 10.30 at night, it's dark by myself I came in and uh, closed the doors had the dogs come in the house and so this guy is sitting outside my house um, watching staking me out this was last night and um, I was like I, I could call the police because he's, he's outside my house or I can deal with it myself and the last time I called the police, somebody was sitting right outside my front gate. And by the time the police came, if they even came, the person was gone. So I was like, all right, I'll deal with it myself. And, uh, these things are pretty upsetting. It upsets me, so of course I'm not going to be very happy about it or positive so I had the feeling that this guy had came back to like get me or something because he was checking me out knows where I live staking me out outside of my house I seen him under the overpass and I got the feeling that he was gonna rest and he was gonna come back because he saw where I live because I'm sitting on my porch I was doing like a YouTube video or the copper tutorial or one of the two just finished with that. So, 10.30 at night, I see him out there. 
and I cut off all the lights and I grabbed the baseball bat. Before that, I washed two butcher knives and had them ready. And I grabbed the bat and I went outside and I was pissed, very upset. And I'm pretty sure my neighbor's like ring camera caught that, that I went outside very upset and I smacked those lamp posts that's out there and I was like what's up motherfucker come on you know and that's the end of that and he saw me he saw the bat he saw whatever he saw and he left so it's kind of like being stalked by somebody that saw me in the daytime sitting outside my house and then comes back at 10 30 at night i didn't call the police i said i'm gonna deal with it myself and that's what i did i went out there with a the fucking baseball bat and it was about to be on that's all i can say and he left So I gotta do stuff like go to the post office. Hopefully I don't see him again. Street people. This neighborhood has plenty of them. I guess I just operated on instincts. But I, I really don't take to people like being suspicious, sitting around stalking me or whatever. Um, I went after him actually. Enough that he went, he left. And like I was, I was telling you that I was recording my video and you could see me get up and I'm looking at him. He's fucking staring at me outside my yard whilst I'm on my porch shooting my video of my how to clean copper tutorial. And then I saw him again earlier when I went to the store. He was under like the 275 and I knew he was going to like try and rest up and come back like he saw a pretty girl or something. So that's what happened tonight and I'm not proud, you know, that happened. My neighbor probably seen that on his camera, his ring camera, you know, he's probably like, what the fuck is she doing? She just came out there with a bat and smacked the lamppost. I mean, he probably couldn't see that there was somebody right there on the corner who was like stalking me from earlier in the day. So, so then a couple more times I came outside at night because I have to take my dogs outside and stuff like that. And I have to have like the a baseball bat just in case because you never know but I'm not going down like that so that's what happened and uh, I don't know these people they try and do all kinds of things to you I heard I watched so much news of things people did to other people and it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go down like that. I will beat your fucking ass and beat you to a pulp. Something like that would happen. I may look all cute, but I don't think so. I may look nice. I may look very feminine. I may look like a girl, which I am. But... I will get a fucking baseball bat and beat the fuck out of you if you come and stalk me at my house like that. Believe it. Because I am not going to be somebody's victim. I am not going to go down like that. And I'm not going to be intimidated. So that's what happened last night. 10.30 at night being stalked by some fucking street person. And went out there with a baseball bat. And I had two knives in the house that I sharpened. That I washed. I don't know why I washed the friggin' knives for. They were in the sink. But I did wash them first. 
I was late. It's on. I took all my jewelry off and went out there in the dark, cut off all the lights. But I'm not proud of that at all. If you got the nerve to come and feel like maybe you're going to come back for somebody, I will meet you there and fuck you up. I will fuck you up. you think you can come at me like that? I don't think so. I'm not like everybody else. I may look innocent or sweet or like you can do whatever to me, but that's not going to happen. So. Being able to defend yourself among some of these street people and these men and these crazy people. In my area, if you go on the internet and search the zip code here. The area code is the zip code 33604. That's my area code. Sexual predators in this area. All you see is like red dots everywhere because this neighborhood is filled with sexual predators. Seminole Heights. Tampa. So... I think, well, I've grown up in this area, and you gotta learn how to defend yourself if you need to. So, today, I'm wearing the Guns Up Rosie Riveter shirt. Because it's not going down like that. Alright, so that was my story time vlog about going after somebody who was stalking me. very wild story and to my neighbor I'm sure he probably seen that he's probably like what the fuck is she doing she's nuts she's crazy no somebody was out there and not only that somebody was out there that was like looking at me earlier stalking me this little bitch decided to come back probably thought oh, she's gonna be asleep or whatever no I am up all fucking night. I don't sleep, motherfucker. Alright, so... This is a true story. This is what happened last night. I hope that you guys hit like, subscribe. Sorry about the language and the F-bombs if you heard me drop some. And, uh, if you want to hear more of what I have to say, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.